Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about data pages in Constellation applications. So you might be aware of the data page concept already, but the way it works in Constellation application is little different from the way it works in Pega traditional UI applications. Okay. So as, as you know, we have various scopes in the data pages, right? So we have thread, requester and node. The node works same in traditional UI application as well as in the constellation, but thread and request are different. Okay. So let me give you some overview of the thread and requester. So thread means let's say we have invoked the data page as part of the case processing and whatever the data is loaded as part of the data page would be available for that complete case meaning for the complete thread, but not available for other threads, okay? So if it is a requester, it will be available for the case, meaning the same case, and also will be available for other cases as well, within the same requester session, okay? So meaning whatever the data page is loaded, whatever the content we have in the data page can be used for that case, as well as other cases in the same requester session, okay? So what happens internally here is, so the data pages cache is kept on the server side, okay? And we can see the data pages on the clipboard as well, right? So the clipboard is replica of the server, okay? But constellations or stateless applications, right because it uses the dx apis to render the uis on the constellation applications okay so and dx apis or the stateless apis so what does stateless means so once the request is fulfilled the requester which process that request will be closed okay so imagine if the requester scope data page works in this way. So for every thread, the data page will be refreshed, meaning it will be reloaded. Okay. So it should not be the case, right? So with the constellations, the purpose of the data page should not be changed. So that is the reason Pega constellation applications also caches the data on the client side as well using the cookies concept. Okay. So what does cookies do? Let's say you have opened a website and added some products in the cart. And when you close the website and reopen it, you will still see the items in the cart, right? Because that website stores some information about the computer uh, in the cookies okay so that cookies would help to identify the system and show the same product details we have in the cart okay so here in the constellation also the data pages would be kept on the server but because of the stateless architecture there needs to be a way to link the browser session to the thread or requester level data pages, okay? So for that, we have a PY sync ID, which would help to store the contents on the client side, okay? So we have a cookie called Pega AAT. AAT means uh, authorized access token, okay? So which is the cookie. And uh, as part of uh, this cookie's payload, the PY sync ID will be passed, okay? So this would actually help to store the data page content on the client side, okay? So I will share this document so you can also go through it. And let me show you the uh, data page on the client side in the application, okay? So we have a function called pcore.getDatapageUtilities. So we need to use this one. 
uh, in the dev tools okay so let me go to the work portal and to open the dev tools you need to press on f2 or control shift i so in the console so you just need to enter the function okay so now i'm going to launch the case called home loan so here i have just put the city property and and the source is the data page okay and this data page contents would be available under data store so this is the client side right so you can see the d underscore city list data page here along with the data okay so if you want to debug the data page so this is how you have to okay and this data page will not be available on the clipboard okay and there are different uh, options as well so we have uh, options in the data page right so for example if you enable uh, reload once per interaction so then the data page will not be kept on the client side so likewise there are uh, some options you know uh, when you enable so this data won't be available on the client side so you can just go through the document you will understand okay so this is about uh, uh, the data pages uh, in the constellation applications we'll come up with the next concept in the next class thank you